Good morning, everybody. Just woke up on a Monday morning, so it's time to read Tower of God, Chapter 342, or Season 2, Episode 262. And uh, last week was mostly about development for Andrasi and Rachel, and it was really, really good, actually. I mean, the chapter was really good itself, uh, but more than that, the development was what was good. So I assume we're going to continue on with that and see more about what's going on with the two of them. Plus, we got some Bomb and Hockney right here at the beginning. Uh, and I'm kind of hoping personally that we make some uh, progress towards getting to the virtual floor. Uh, but that might not come for another chapter or two, since we don't know how long this uh, little transitional arc's going to be. But uh, either way, let's get to reading. So uh, first off, we see that panel, of course, we saw last week with Hockney approaching Bomb. Bomb. Hockney. What are you doing here? Are you here because of the picture? Sort of. The closer I get, the worse I feel about this. You have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm not completely sure, but I can see someone near death around here. Which, of course, we have we have heard before. Uh, Tower of God, 43rd floor, Hell Train, New Power 3. Okay. Now we see the uh, broken needle of Andrasis. What the? Did something just... And then Rachel looks shocked as well. Rachel, what did you do just now? Hey, Andrasi, says uh, the pocket. That's enough. Get out of there. We didn't bring her here just so that you could beat her up and take out or take your anger out on her. And it's Yuri. You're in big trouble if you do so. What? You've been watching me this whole time? Of course. I installed a camera on the pocket. I love how Yuri is so like overbearing on Andrasi, like when she was chasing her around the ship before. <laughs> That's really funny. I wasn't expecting Yuri to still be like this with her. That is a good panel of Yuri as well. Every shower that you take, every time you pick your nose, it's all saved on here. I'll release it all if you keep talking back to me. Hey, isn't that illegal? I am the law here, bitch. <laughs> How accurate is that translation? I am the law here, bitch. Now hurry up and get out of there. And uh, Andrasi looking mighty pissed. You're lucky. I'm warning you, it won't end like this next time. I'll be watching you to see whether you try anything stupid. <gasps> Damn it, says leaving the room. Andrasi, says Bomb and Hockney running up. Are you okay? What do you think? We just had a little chat. Nothing, er, nothing happened. Nothing. What was that? That weird feeling before, she thinks. It only lasted a moment, but it was terrifying. Okay, now Bob and Hockney go into where Rachel is. Are we about to get this painting and what it means? Ugh, and she is holding her rib still. Yes, I've secured the ladle. Although Yurik Mazino's appearance surprised me. Oh shit, so I reinstalled the ladle. Okay then, tell Madarako for me. If he wants to make a deal, wait till after we get off the train. As for how to go about doing so, I will do as the elders say. Okay, was not expecting more FUG development here, even that little bit. That's all for now. The elders? So, they are involved in your activities. The ancient elders of FUG shrouded in even more mystery than the slayers, says, um, Evan. So that could be interesting. If they're el elders even more mysterious than the Slayers, perhaps the elders are people from back before Zahard even came into the tower. Uh, just really, really ancient tower natives that uh, couldn't, of course, defeat Zahard and them themselves because <laughs> they're immortal. But uh, that's why they're trying to get the Slayers who can kill immortals. I have no intention of telling you everything, says uh, Rian. I know. I heard that you're not going th with Bond this time. That's right. How strange that you wouldn't go with him. Do you know what's on the hidden floor? I don't know, but I've heard stories about it, she says. That there's the evil sleeping that after Zahard... There, that there's the evil sleeping that Zahard left after becoming a god. So I guess... Hmm, an evil left sleeping. The next day... That's either going to be some bad thing that ends up fusing into Bomb like the Red Therissa and many other things, or it's uh, perhaps going to be what they mean about Young Zahard. Perhaps Young Zahard is the evil. 
which seems weird since the heart seemed to be a good guy for a good amount of time before becoming evil. But whatever. The next day. Okay, so I am glad. We're barely through this and we're already moving moving along. Two o'clock in the afternoon in the hall in front of the sleeping car. And we already see Bomb Coon, Rachel, and Drossy, and Yuri. And what is Yuri wearing? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. And then they're all just... <laughs> Rachel and Androssi just pouting away from each other. I wonder how many people will come. I'm not sure. My speech might have scared them off yesterday, says Coon. Plus, there's no reason for Sachi or Boro to help us anymore. Hockney might come because of his picture. Well, just assume that we'll go by ourselves if no one comes, and don't worry about it too much. Right. First, you told us to gather here, and now you're planning on running off by yourselves again? And then Bomb looks shocked. Take us with you. And it's everybody. We got Hockney, Iruto, Barrow, Boro, and Sachi. Awesome. You guys! <laughs> or, I don't know if it's Iruto or Irude. Actually, but either day's um, pig hoodie. <laughs> so cute. That's a really cool panel as well. Sachi, Boro, Hockney, Candy, you all came. <laughs> Bob. Well, if there's anywhere worth seeing on the train, I want to tag along too. Why am I just Candy? <laughs> Thanks, Barrow. Plus, you guys have been helping me with the test so far. I have a general idea of where we're going, so don't worry, Bomb, Sasaki, or Sasaji. Hey, what about me, Boro? Thank you, and Bomb is, of course, very, very happy. So, shall we get going? I wonder what kind of tough opponents we'll run into this time. And then, uh, Rachel is still angsty teen. Those irritating idiots. I love all these panels with Rachel and the, uh, the Stingray of Doom, the Minazugi here. And Hockney just looking at her. Four hours later, the hall leading to the Room of Time passed. And of course we're going to, before we get to the floor, we're going to have to have this thing where Karaka's like, ah ha ha, you fell into my trap now, and then Yuri's going to beat him up and they're going to enter the floor. So uh, we still have that to come as well. What's up with this hall? I've never seen anywhere like this before. This place seems fishy. We'd better be careful. There are a few special routes on the train where boss level guardians and minions appear, says Boro. Boss level guardians and minions. That's right. Guys like the Bloomer Guardian or Mother Fish. The more important the area, the stronger the guardian protecting it. So, we should be careful. Then, how about we split into teams and look around, says Yuri. Splitting up. Scooby-Doo has taught me this is never a good idea. The leading group will find and beat the boss first, and the rest will follow after. What? Isn't it better to seek out and destroy impending danger rather than waiting for it? <laughs> oh, Yuri's strategy. Bomb, you follow behind slowly with your companions. Kun and Andrasi come with me to beat the boss. Yes, master, says <laughs> Andrasi. This place is creepy. Where the heck are we heading? Rachel's still staring up. Rachel here, with that dress and everything, she reminds me way back in Volume 1, Michelle Light. And then, somebody's watching them? Okay. Rachel turns around really quickly, and holy crap, death pelicans. So we have these death pelicans coming at Rachel. Monsters, says uh, Boro. They're coming at us from every direction. Rachel. And then, of course, Rachel's power cuts one down. Alright. Really cool looking art. Really cool looking art here. I actually kind of like the uh, design as well by CU of just having Rachel float around on the lighthouse instead of walking as well. Alright. What the? Something just protected me. Okay, now there are more death pelicans coming in. Be careful, and we see um, uh, Bomb Sachi and Boro fighting, and Yurude is in there as well. Again, really, really cool looking art this week. I mean, of course, that's true of most weeks, but uh, just trying to take it in real quick. Not fully, because I'm going to read again and do the review, but just real quick so that I don't miss anything for the reaction. Are you guys okay? Bomb starts running back over. The bastard. So much bang? 
How much bang? I guess he's talking about how Bomb can control so many uh, bongs of Shinsu. From all different angles, says uh, Hockney. Impressive. Again, really good panel of Bomb here. You don't actually need our help, do you? You can you can definitely sit this one out, Boro. You've been mean so mean to me lately. <laughs> Poor Boro getting turned into this um, uh, comedy relief. And again, why well, see you dropping so many great panels of Rachel with this, uh, like I said, the Minazuki, the death stingray, even though its tail isn't really like a stingray, I guess. Okay. Now, there's something in the ceiling opening up. Whoa, is that the guardian of this place? And Yuri trying to um, look quite young in this outfit. And it's Boss. <laughs> Boss Death Pelican <laughs> looks terrifying as hell. Okay, goes in with the Talon Strike and Nakor. Kun blocks it. It's definitely lacking in a lot of power since it was repaired in such a hurry. And then, oh, Death Pelican's charging up a beam? Or a blast of air, I guess. Blows Kun backwards. And Drossy, hurry. Hang in there a bit longer. Stop whining and just hold on. Bye bye, she says, chicken, and then just kamehameha's it into non existence, presumably. Wow. <laughs> well done. Looks like those new skills have stabilized now. I also love the uh, art. I love whenever Andrassi's flying around just using the bong bong kind of like wings. That always looked cool. And we see the door open now. What the heck? A door suddenly appeared. It feels like the entrance to the room of time past. Cool. Inside the room of time past. Ugh. Ah. And we see um, Wang Nin all tied up. You're really tiring me out. And now Karaka has this weird tentacle thingy. Karaka just gets more powers constantly and is still constantly just beaten the hell down. <laughs> Um, just give up and help us bring Viol here. Shut up. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not on the same team as Viol anymore? I can't summon Viol, nor do I want to. Let me go right now, you unrecycled tin can. Hmm, tin can. I didn't want to have to do this, but I have no choice. And then he starts walking towards Mi- Misang, I believe? What? What are you going to do? If you don't help us bring Viol here immediately, I'm going to smash this kid's head to pieces. It's either, er, it's your choice, either this kid or Viol. And of course, uh, we saw Euro was, um, is that, and he notices the ring. The ring? You. How did you, what? Hey, w wait. Could I talk to you alone for a minute? Oh, brother conversation now. I wonder if he's going to believe him since Rachel has Wang Nin's ring right now and he doesn't actually have it, or if Karak is going to think he's lying. But that's it. That's kind of an interesting place to leave the chapter on, considering everything that happened. But either way, that was really good. I'm happy that we got a lot of progress toward actually making it to the floor, since it seems like they're already at the Room of Time Past, which is, I mean, I thought that's where Karaka was waiting for them. So, uh, you know, I, don't, I, I actually don't know anymore. I thought that's where they were waiting. But maybe it is. Maybe they're about to show up there. Uh, either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Review will be up tomorrow, hopefully, as usual. Um, so, yeah, like if you did, like the video, comment down there. To tell me what you thought of this week's chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel or talk to you there. If you want a link to the Discord, just ask and I can get you one. So uh, that's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.